friends it's Tuesday and I am bringing you a, a scrapbook process video for the crafty maven getaway and our focus is on cut files this month and so I dug into my stash and grabbed some of this old prima paper called almanac and then I also had a piece of this crate paper good vibes paper that um, I use and so I really just wanted to kind of focus on these two pictures that are of me and Bab and we were in California on vacation we went to San Fran first and then we visited some of his family members in Los Altos Hills and Pleasanton and we stopped in this little town and had a really lovely evening it was perfect weather and we it was like this quaint little town it was so gorgeous and I love little towns like that where you can go into different little restaurants and they have this little wine and cheese and chocolate bar that was just oh it was so good so we had wine pairings and tastings and I had to document this as part of the trip I did use some cut files that I backed with paper and those are the doodles and uh, what are they called doodles and I have it wrote down I'm looking doodle florals and leaves <laughs> from make paper art um, she has an Etsy shop so if you want to get that cut file over there that is um, a really good place to get some nice cut files and she comes out with new ones all the time so I just use scraps for the backing of those cut files and I've been doing that a lot lately I also am going to do another layout for crafty maven where I show you uh, a different way to use cut files and I think that you may enjoy it because it uses up some paper that you might not necessarily like and it's just a way to get kind of messy with some mixed media as well so a little bit different take on a cut file usage for that video and that is going to be um, next Wednesday so this is October 3rd so I guess it will be the 10th I want to say yeah I guess the 10th anyway <laughs> So that almanac paper did have a cut apart sheet that I cut these labels from. They kind of look like Project Live cards, but I just cut them up, you know, fuzzy cut them. And then I grabbed some goodies from my stash. That is a Paige Evans label and it says, you are the best. And he is, he's the best. I'm a very lucky girl. So that is Bab trying to look all you know he's kind of a comedian he's a very much a comedian so he's trying to look all like dashing and sexy but he's so you know he's a techie and a geek so <laughs> it doesn't really it doesn't really work out but it's funny and um, you just can't have a bad time with that man I'm telling you we have a blast everywhere we go and when I met him um, and we started dating a little bit one of the things I asked him, you know, after a while was, you know, what are, what are you looking for? And I knew I was looking for a long-term relationship again because I had not had one in a very long time. And I wanted a, a serious, like, commitment, but it had to be the right person. And I'd really given up on dating altogether, and so had he. And that's kind of when we found each other, and it was a, a very natural, organic way to meet and it worked out beautifully but he said he was looking for a best friend and i thought you know that is a great answer because that's you know not only do i want a long-term committed relationship i really want that person to be my very best friend and i absolutely found that in him so i consider myself very very fortunate we've been together three years now and um you know, I, I suspect we will be together for a very, very long time. So, uh, you know, God willing. <laughs> so I took these uh, foam thicker letters, which 
oh my gosh, after a while they get stuck to the paper and you can't get them off. And I broke the L trying to get it off the paper. And I guess I need to use up my thickers more because they either lose the sticky or they get old and like crack or stick to the paper too much. I don't know. I didn't know those things went bad, but apparently they do. And I have learned to glue them all down unless they're foam. Um, and then like I also add that last night is a branding strip that I just cut. It had words all the way across. I just cut that off. I'm not sure where the chipboard came from that says, hey, sugar, but, you know, I'm from Texas, so we say things like, hey, sugar, and um, I'm adding a couple of enamel crosses and dots that I had in my stash that are, uh, yeah, they're from Citrus Twist. Um, what else? Oh, I did write down the chipboard. It is Pink Paisley, so it's Paige Evans Pink Paisley. Um, but I don't know what collection. And then some of the ephemera is from Chamel. And I'm just adding a little bit of shimmers here in Snowway Man. Uh, we do have that in the Cheeky Studio Shop if you want to get some of that. And I just found that this was a good way to use some of my old stash. Um, that I've just had accumulated and also use some cut files in a fun way. I hope you enjoy this layout. I really enjoyed making it. Of course, I have still pictures at the end as usual. And I'm going to have another um, video for you next Wednesday. There's going to be information in the description bar on how you can find the Crafty Maven getaway. I know she's got some plans for some really fun things to come and uh, her community is growing so I do love being a part of it. Uh, Hannah is the administrator and she's a sweetheart and I've always um, kind of you know been friends with her over the years through the scrapbook community. So um, also, there's information at the end on how you can find Cheeky Studio and that Facebook group. And yeah, I just appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That way other people can find me. And um, I guess that's it for now. I will be sharing another video with you very soon. And I appreciate you all. Have a great day. Ta-ta for now. Bye.